What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another two minute tutorial with Red Footage. So today we'll be learning how to export 8K videos inside of Premiere on Windows. Although Mac users follow along, I also tell you how to do it. And right before we get started, I wanted to note you can download this Red Footage off of the Red website. Just click the link in the description and go download it and try it out for yourself. So exporting 8K videos from Premiere on Windows is a little bit weird. Actually, it's not that weird, but it's it, you can do it. It's not that big of a deal. So we have an 8K clip right here. You can see we're going to right-click New Sequence from Clip, and we want to export this at its maximum resolution of 8192 by 4320 for YouTube because YouTube now supports 8K videos. So we're going to right-click our little sequence down here and click Export Media, which will pop up our export settings. Now, typically it's set to H.264, which is a little bit of a problem right now because H.264 only goes up to... 4096 by 2160 you cannot make this any larger so that's a problem because um, H.265 hasn't come out yet for Premiere or blah 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 doesn't support 8k but this is like our mp4s you would typically use for YouTube so we got to change some stuff so what we're gonna do is go to format and we're gonna drop it down to QuickTime now for Mac users you can change your video codec to ProRes because I'm but because I'm on Windows the codec doesn't exist I, I really miss ProRes but I love my workstation so whatever but for, for us Windows users, we will set this to DNxHR slash DNxHD, which is pretty cool. Then we can set the resolution here to DNxR HQ 8-bit. I choose this. The file size is still large, but it's not as big as the 10-bit, and then it's not as big as that. Still really large files, but gets the job done. Also, don't forget to click the Match Source button to match the resolution for 8K. And then, yeah, we can click our output name. We can change it to the desktop just for now, and then click Export. Now, once this exports, you will find a little bit of a problem. You can't really natively play these videos on Windows. It doesn't work in VLC. No media player really plays this. So what I do to check my footage once it exports is I bring the footage back into Premiere Pro, you know, as like an, another import of footage, and I just watch it back from my movie. So we can drag our footage back into Premiere Pro to check it. We exported this. We can double click it in here to actually see our little movie we just exported. And it does play back fine inside of Premiere Pro, and you can upload this to YouTube. You can upload this to YouTube. Now we can actually check the properties of the file to see how big it is. It is a 2.47 gigabyte file, and it's about a a seven second clip. So you can imagine how large these files get. But hey, um, when I export these files for YouTube, like the Red Sizzle video that I made, massive file, took all night to upload, but. I wasn't in any hurry to get that video online, so that is a drawback to this system that I'm doing. If you know a better way, let me know in the comments, and I will start following that better way. Until then, large file size codecs, here we come. Other than that, I'm Max. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.